Okay, lesson 13. Let's get it. The class continues to explore ways to use conditional statements to take user input. In addition to the simple key down block command learned yesterday, the class learns about several other keyboard input commands as well as ways to make take mouse input. Vocabulary, conditionals, remember these are like if statements, statements that only run under certain conditions. There's a lot of new code here, okay? Don't worry, we'll learn it all. You'll be good by the end of the lesson. All right, exercise two. Mouse X and Y. Okay, there's nothing there for us yet. One of the simplest ways to take input is to just make a sprite follow the user's mouse position. You can get the X and Y location of the mouse using world mouse X and world mouse Y. So I imagine those are in these drawers. Yes, world mouse X, world mouse Y. This follows the pattern you learned with sprite properties. World is the name of the object. Mouse X and mouse Y are the names of the properties. Okay. Do this. You are going to make a B sprite follow the mouse around the game area. The B image is already loaded in the animation tab for you. Create a B sprite that draws in the center of the window. Okay, so they're saying that there's a B image already. Cool. It's called B. We need to create a B sprite that draws in the center of the window. Okay, so we go to sprites. You have to create a variable for a sprite. Uh, let's name it B. And let's draw that B. Oh, it's center of the window. I think 200, 200 is just about the center. Yes. Uh, let's name this B. And we want to set the animation to B. Uh, inside the draw loop update well let's see if it runs okay it's not showing yet ah why why isn't it showing because we need draw sprites perfect okay uh, inside the draw loop update the position of the sprite to the position of the mouse set the x position of the sprite to the value of world dot mouse x okay so we want to set this inside the draw loop b dot x equals world mouse x okay and i think we're going to do the same thing right below for b dot y sprite dot y b dot y and we got to go to the world and do world mouse dot y all right so let's see is it doing it no run the program to see if it works it does not work Let's see what I did wrong. Hmm. Inside the draw loop, update the position of the sprite to the position of the mouse. Set the X position of the sprite to the value of world mouse X. Hmm. Should I put this here? No, I don't think that'll work. So this is what should be happening. Do I need to do b dot x equals b dot x plus world mouse x? Hmm. Okay, so I think the key detail I'm forgetting here is the the light blue background. And what that's going to do is it's going to help reset the image every single time. Let's see if that works. Background uh, blue. Mm, nope here let's do we want to do that down no okay i think i figured it out draw sprites and the background both need to be inside the draw loop so let's move this in and the background i think we want that first yeah so that the b is drawn on top of it and let's reset and run this yep okay cool all right on to the next level random around point now that you can make the bee follow the mouse let's make a bee fly around the mouse as shown in the picture on the right okay in order to do this you will need to add a random number amount between negative 50 and 50 
to the mouse X or mouse Y. You already have a B sprite that follows the mouse. Update the X and Y location to be randomly close to the mouse. Add a random number between negative 50 and 50 to the world.mouseX and world.mouseY. If necessary, use the world.framerate block to slow down the animation and find the best frame rate. Okay, let's see if we can do this. All right, so first of all, let's add a random, random number. It's in the math drawer. Let's see if we can squeeze it in there. Okay, I am thinking take world.mouse y out first, then add a random number. Hmm. How am I going to do this? World.mouse x. You know what? I think I know. Let's try this. 50. Fifty, and I think I'm gonna copy these two, and I'm gonna paste them beneath. Remember, if you can, if you need to, go into add text, show text mode. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna for these bottom two, I'm gonna switch them. The world mouse X, and I'm gonna put negative fifty here. Move this negative fifty. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it's pretty violent, but it's it looks like it's working. It doesn't look like it's as good as this. So maybe, hmm, let me take a look, see if I can think of something else. Okay, so I think a better way to do this would be using these two, and let's Let's go to show text mode and I'm going to do world mouse x minus 50 and then over here world dot mouse x plus 50 and I think that I think that should work. Move that y plus 50 okay let's click show blocks let's see if this works okay that's a little better all right cool let's move on wait challenge add three more bees that follow the mouse in the same way to make a swarm of bees this sounds like a perfect opportunity to do what copy and paste First, we need to add three more bees. So, uh, what we're going to do is, yeah, I guess we can do copy and paste for that too. So, let's do, let's copy and paste. And they said three more bees. So, let's copy this. Paste. Paste paste and go back to show block mode and let's name this b2 b2 b3 b3 b4 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 whoa b4 okay so now Hmm, can they all have this B animation, or is that going to be a problem? Well, let's try doing this first. Copy this. Copy this, and we're going to paste this three more times to make the other three Bs. Okay, show blocks, and we want to change this. So this is going to be B2, 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 B3, 
B3, B4, B4. Nice, a swarm of bees. Perfect. All right, and we didn't even have to change the animation. It's all the same. <clears throat> okay, watch this video. As you have noticed, the content is getting more difficult. These videos will be more helpful the more difficult the content gets, okay? Same thing with reading. If you read this stuff, it will help you. I talked in the previous video about clicking this plus sign to add an else to the statement, okay? So I want you to read this. Okay, what if my condition isn't true? Sometimes we want to tell our program what to do if a condition is true, but also what to do if it's false. Okay, that's why we use else. Pressing the plus button at the bottom of your conditional block will give you another section called else. This else section will be run whenever the condition in the if before it is false. Do this. The gears are back. The last time you worked with them, you made them spin when the space bar is pressed. Instead of the gears only spinning when the space key is pressed, we want them to spin one way when the space key is pressed and spin the other way when it's not pressed. Okay, click the plus button at the bottom of the if block to add an else. Okay, so here's our if block. We want to do else. Add commands to make the gears spin opposite of the direction that they do when the space bar is pressed. Okay, so we got the gears. If we press space, you can see they rotate, okay? We want it so that when we release the space bar, instead of them stop spinning, they spin the opposite way of this. So the red one will be spinning to the left, the blue one will be spinning to the right, and the green one will be spinning to the left. So this is a perfect opportunity for a coder's best friend. Copy and paste. This, this code here is what is making each gear rotate. So how can we copy this, paste it in here, so that when we release the space bar, it spins the opposite way? Well, all we have to do is change these, the operators. We're going to have to change it from a minus to a plus, plus to a minus, plus to a minus. All right, yours might be a little different, so pay attention to what yours is, and you just want to change them to the opposites. So change that minus to a plus, plus to a minus, plus to a minus. <clears throat> and this should work. Let's reset it and run it. Uh-oh, okay. Well, I think that's okay that... Okay, yeah, I press the space bar, they spin the opposite way. I release, and they're spinning the opposite way. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, 